the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always Namaste friends. So today in the entire chapter Python, it is chapter 107, and in Panda, this is chapter 7. And we are going to be dealing with wrong data. We have seen a bunch, we have seen about the you know the series, the data frame, the label. <clears throat> So we keep actually improving and we saw how to actually remove the duplicates, format the wrong data, we actually saw. As I always say like, you know, we are going to be practicing, uh, you know, some of the commands quite frequently so that we don't lose the touch. Okay, so I told you that. So today in the chapter seven is going to be wrong data. So the wrong data does not have to be empty cells or wrong format. It can just be a wrong. Now say suppose if you have actually given if you want like 90, 199 you know instead of if you've actually given 199 instead of 1.9 and there is a huge wrong. So sometimes you can actually spot the wrong data by looking at the data set because you know the expectation. So here I have a data set. You can see that in row 7 the duration is 450 but for other rows the duration is between 30 and 60. This does not have to be wrong, but taking into consideration this data of workout session, we can conclude that no one actually worked for 450 minutes. So if you see like 60, 60, 60, so this is 450. So by just mere eyeballing, we can say this is wrong. So what I'm going to be doing is like always, I'm going to be taking this. I'm going to be going here. I have my sets of data that I've been doing all these things. So here I'm going to be doing. So for easier understanding, I'm going to be pasting this. And what I'm going to be doing is keyword English uh, wrong data dot CSV because this is a wrong data. So I'm going to be giving wrong data dot CSV and I'm going to be saving it. Boom, it's done. So now what I'm going to be doing here is how can I actually fix this? Because this has actually happened here, okay, which has actually happened here in the 450. So this is a seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, here it is. So I need to fix this, right? So how can I actually fix this? Okay. So one way is to actually replace them with something else. Or maybe it is just a typo or we could just insert fortify in the seven. So what I can actually do here is, I can actually take this and I can actually go here. I can go import pandas and I could say keyword English wrong data. So this is my seven duration and then I say insert in the duration because if you see here this is the duration and this is the seventh okay uh, but in this case it happens to be the ninth okay this happens to be the ninth so I can actually try the ninth so I can say the location is 9 and I can say 45 <clears throat> and I can say print df2 the entire thing df2 string and I'm actually going to be doing run so it needs to show me uh, it is again this thing so maybe yeah it is a 7 I think it's a 7 I'm sorry I think it's a 7 it's not the 9 so the 9 it did a 45 so this should be the 7 so I'll do the 7, I'll run this, see here in the 7, this become 45, now everything is clear. Now everything is good, so it is a 7. So the data at the time, it got tricked me. So for the small data says we might be able to replace the wrong data, but what if something is so long, okay? So if the value is higher than 120, then we actually set it to 120. Now say, suppose if, what I actually do here is, so let me actually read out this thing for you. But since this is a data is small, I was able to read. But if not, what will I do? I take this and then I say here. So keyword English wrong data. And then I say, this is my DF, right? So PD, I'm going to read my CSV. We actually read all these things. I say for X in my index, if my location in this duration, in this duration, okay, is greater than 120. Okay, so far there is no 120. Then I say, fix it to, if that is the case, then fix it to this. And then I print the string, but nothing is greater than 120 here. 
or something is in the seven is greater than 120. So this I actually fixed, but actually in the data, this is like 450. So that got fixed to 120. So this is what the loop will do. <clears throat> or you can actually remove something, you know, which is greater than 120, which also comes in the form of a loop. So what I can do here is I can actually put this and I can actually say, I can say keyword uh, English from data where it is greater than I can say drop so in this case a seven will be dropped but I actually forgot one thing here and that is this statement because without which you can't actually see this if I actually run this now it, will, it is going to be dropped See that seven is dropped, so it, be, it become eight. Very simple, right? <clears throat> so this is the same drop NA, okay, which is the same as a drop NA. So let's not do this. So let's actually see how to actually fill in the values. Okay, we are going to be doing the filling in, or even I could say, okay, let me also take a drop NA, but in, in the drop NA, what I can actually do is it's the same thing. Because if you see the drop command is more or less the same, okay. But what I can actually do here is let me see this, okay. So I'm going to be reading this PDF, and then I say drop in a, and then I'm going to okay. What what I can actually read is, um, I can say keyword English data one. Like instead of English data analysis, what I can say is keyword English data one. Keyword English data one and i don't think it's a csv i don't think it's a csv yes it is not a csv because otherwise it will be a problem i can drop i can actually run this so see the 17 is dropped the 17 is dropped 27 is dropped So some of the things are dropped okay i think it's a very big data set or what i can actually do is i can take this i can do this i can read it or instead of the dropping i can just print it uh okay so this it's not taking it i will do this so if you see it is not dropped but it does have certain things okay one two six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so it has a lot of data the data is actually undropped so i can actually say where i want to be dropped and that is what it actually gave so the deleting all those things actually comes under that picture now if you want to fill in a particular area okay if you want to fill in a particular area where in this case the empty cells got in row 18, 22, and 28. 18, 22, and 28. So let's actually see that. So if you see, we have an 18. So 22. So this 18, or maybe this is what it actually dropped here, right? Maybe it's a keyword English data analysis. Let me actually read the keyword data English analysis. Okay, just give me a second. Let me go here. I don't want to drop. I will say keyword English data analysis one. I will do this. Analysis one dot CSV. See here, the 17 here is dropped. Okay. Um, 27 is dropped. So I think this is what it is. So, you know, certain things are actually dropped here. So that is what I think this is the data we are going to be looking at. So let me actually take this. Let me go here. So, keyword 
Isn't that CSV? I think there should be a CSV, right? Yeah, data or oh, data analysis one dot CSV. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the same thing. So what I will do is the same. So keyword English data analysis one dot CSV. And then I'm going to be filling in when I'm actually running this. See in the 17, this got filled with something. So here I got this 130. So what all here it says? 18, 22, 28. So 18, 22, and my 28. So had it been here, So 18 is 320. So I'm actually filling the area. So here it is not there, right? So all these 17 actually came. So this is what the filling this thing is. So by this command, you actually read and you actually fill in in the place where it is, there is no, and then you actually print it. All right, so this is what it is. Uh, the calories, I think if this is a calories, let me actually say, because if I want to fill in a particular area of calories, yeah, this is a calorie. So if you want to fill in the particular area of calories, so what I will actually do here is I will take this thing. So I'll take this and it's the same thing. So it is basically, it is a keyword, English data analysis one dot CSV. So this is a calorie. So this is a calorie and uh, you know, I'm going to be filling in this particular column. So let's actually see how this particular column actually works. So this is basically reading it. And then I say this location of calories. And then I say fill in the place where it is actually null. And when I actually do this, this gives me this. So once again in 18, 22, so rows 18 and 28. So if you see rows 18 and 28 actually fills me. Okay, so this is what we actually learned. So we'll be doing this more and more, like, you know, trying few commands in everything so that we don't lose that touch. Okay, I thought should have actually watched this lecture, probably enjoyed it and understood the same. If you have any questions, kindly contact me and I'll actually try to help you to the best of my abilities. Like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time and the other is my wife, Jayashi, for allowing me to follow my passion. Will we see you next time? Thank you. Take care.